beating and killing her husband may serve just four months in jail for it. That was the judge's sentence, and the husband's family is outraged. Fox 4's Rob Lowe spoke with the victim's family and the prosecutor, but the judge isn't talking, is he, Rob? No, he's not, but we did obtain the court transcript from sentencing, and it sure doesn't offer any strong reasons as to why the judge would grant what's called shock time in the legal system. That's 120 days. You want to know who's really shocked? The victim's family. It was a snowy night, February 13, 2012, when police found 25 year old Eric Nevins shot dead in the street, lying near his wife's SUV. This was no whodunit. She knew what she was doing. She had every intent to shoot him. Talani Miller is the victim's sister and is haunted by what she says Eric's wife told a witness an hour before the shooting. As they were walking out the door, she made the statement, I'm going to kill this. And an hour later, my brother was dead. Within 24 hours, prosecutors charged then 28 year old Charlitha Nevins with second degree murder. Possible punishment? Life in prison. But that's not what Nevins received. She pled to involuntary manslaughter, which carries up to seven years. But she didn't get that either. In April, she was sentenced to shock time, 120 days in the downtown detention center. I wish someone would make sense out of it for me, because I can't make sense out of it. So in this case, it is a disappointing result. We asked Jackson County Prosecutor Jean Peters Baker if she could make sense of 120 days. And justice is a very elusive thing. It is very, very, very hard to get sometimes in this building. So how does someone like Eric Bratton receive 64 years for the independent center shooting that caused two minor injuries while Nevins kills her husband and gets 120 days? Every case is different. Every case has different evidentiary issues. In this case, Shirley, the Nevins was angry about a credit card. She'd been yelling from her car window at her husband for six blocks. Finally, she told police he punched her, grabbed a gun she'd been hiding in her lap, and during the struggle, she says she accidentally pulled the trigger and shot him in the chest. There were no signs of bruises when they examined her that evening. She had not a scratch. Court records confirm that and this. No powder burns, gunpowder residue, or stippling observed on the victim's clothing or hand. So investigators have no evidence of a gun struggle. Oh, she absolutely uh, deserves seven years, and I think really the judge said it best. Uh, she brought a handgun to the situation. She was the only one that did that. That was her choice. And it was the choice of Judge John Torrance to give Sherlitha Nevins 120 days in jail. He declined our interview request, but listened to his own words at sentencing. This was a reckless act that senselessly took the life of a man for no good reason. He showed no justice. He gave our family no justice, none. Eric Nevins leaves behind four children, including a baby girl he never met. His wife was four months pregnant on the day she shot him. It's possible she could still serve seven years if she misbehaves during her shock time, but if she keeps her nose clean for 120 days, Nevins could go home in August. Rob Lowe, Fox 4 News, working for you. Thanks, Rob. An area team.